Hello Virtual Pilots, in today's video I wanted to show you how to set up and use voice attack in DCS, particularly on how to use it to interact with the, the Jester AI like this. Connect ground power. Roger. And uh, external power is connected, sir. Connect right engine. Roger. 15 arrow. Yes, sir. Lock. Locking bandit. Left 15 degrees, 18 miles. Good walk. Lock. Locking bandit. Left 20, 15 miles. Good walk. Flare off. Roto. Chaff single. Now okay. Chaff program. Alright. In my opinion, voice attack is a game changer for DCS. It reduces your workload while flying on the simulator, it improves the immersion and also helps you with complex commands. Voice attack is a software that lets you use voice commands to control various actions in games or application. Think of it as turning your voice into a HODAS button press. I think that where it shines the most is when flying modules with a back seater like Hit Blues F4 Phantom and F14 Tomcat, where usually you have to open a menu to direct uh, the Jester AI into doing something. Now you can just uh, press a COM button and talk to Jester directly. And so let's go check out the program. First of all, you gotta understand that Voice Attack is a paid program, it is only 10 bucks. You can navigate to its website, voiceattack.com, and you can download a free trial. And you can download the trial version, which is free for the lifetime, which only gives you limited profiles with 20 commands each, but that's enough to see if you can properly set it up on your computer with your microphone and if you like it. So I strongly suggest you to try it out. So once you install the software, you'll be greeted with these voice tech panels. Now I have mine already set up, but the first thing, first things you want to do is to go into the settings right here. The important stuff is under recognition. Uh, usually voice attack prompts you to do these things on the first startup, but you can also do them right here. You see the speech engine is the system default. Uh, the, it uses the Windows built-in speech recognition. And under Utilities, you can start the speech engine training. And you'll have to read some text, uh, some words, uh, some commands, uh, some questions, and it will calibrate the voice recognition software for your voice. Of course, you'll have to check if your audio inputs and outputs are correct. Under general, I suggest you to use the joystick options and add one of your HOTAS devices into there. Because the best way to use voice tech, in my opinion, is to have a push button recognition, which means uh, you push a button on the HOTAS, which maybe is very similar to your radio PTT, and you speak your command. Uh, you can also leave voice attack into an open mode where it continuously listens, but I found out that it, it has a much harder time understanding your commands in that way. With the push to talk button, usually my, uh, usually the confidence level that I read in the software is above 90%. All right then, what's next? You need profiles. I see profiles as the plane that you fly, like I have here an F4 Phantom 2 and I'm gonna link them in the description if you wanna download them and tune them for your specific needs. But first, you, you have to create a new profile with this button. This is the profile actions, like create new, export, import, duplicate, delete. Then once you have the profile, you can edit it. And right here, mine is already populated, but if yours is empty, you just do new command. When I say, you prompt the command. Let me show you this one. Like when I say connect external power, it does a key press, press left alt plus T keys and hold for 0 0.2 seconds and release. Left alt, you just enable it by tapping on the keyboard. 
and the T. And that's it. You can put a category here, what you want, and that's it, you have a command. Be sure to press apply. You can also make uh, uh, variations of the command. Maybe you don't want to remember, uh, I need to say connect external power. Maybe sometimes I'll say connect ground power. You can also make a new command. When I say connect ground power, execute command, connect external power. Execute command is found under other voice track actions and execute another command. You can also move the mouse. Load cartridges, place wheel chocks, remove wheel chocks, start flow, stop flow. And these are all things that would require you to have a special button on your holders bound to it. Or you'll have to open the gesture wheel. Uh, because in VR it's not like you can fumble around and press keys on the keyboard. The keyboard is very difficult to use in VR. And I have a little trick for you that I put under all my voice tech profiles. I have this common here. It has a name that doesn't uh, really matter, but it plays a sound. The sound is this one. And under the options of the profile right here, if we go to profile exec, you can enable execute a command each time a command phrase is recognized. That means when voice attack, when you talk to voice tech, Voice attack understands a command and the command is on the list, it will execute this sound. I strongly recommend you to set this up. It makes everything easier and more transparent. Maybe when you are seasoned with it, you can just disable it, untick it, and that's done. And then you, you can do more profiles, like with the F14 Tomcat, this is my profile. But what if you want to control some DCS core stuffs? like the F1 through to F12 keys that are kind of important in DCS. You don't have to co copy them into every profile. I have created a profile which is called FCOMP and I have all the COM keys here. You can only enable one profile at a time. So let me show you this trick. We go to the F4 Phantom profile, we go options, and here include commands from other profiles and you can look up your profiles you can add new profiles and i did import all the commands from the fcoms and mouse movement into this profile but now let's do a cold startup in the f4 phantom and see how voice attack does uh, one, before starting up one thing that uh, you should notice is this bar at the bottom which reflects uh, the microphone input voice that it's uh, picking up. And we can say F14 Tomcat. F14 Tomcat got recognized with confidence 92% and it's reached the profile. F4 Phantom. And let's go. Right, so in the jet we put on the helmet, turn on the batteries. And we just start using voice attack to talk with the ground crew. Like, like you will do with the radio. Connect ground power. Roger. You see the answer. Just tap it as it's a uh, push to talk. You have to remember you have to push then talk. It's like a walkie talkie radio. External power is connected, sir. Connect right engine. Roger. What alignment are we going for? Connected at all. Alrighty, right. bath alignment, here we go. Start flow. Starting, we just push the starter button, throttle, temperature rise. Connect left engine. Roger.
Connected left. Start flow. And done. Disconnect. Roger. Yes, sir. Disconnected. Start alignment. Be back. Disconnect ground power. Roger. Fifteen arrow. Yes, sir. Okay, we've got mud. Two o'clock. New bogeys. Let me see if these guys are ours. SA two and uh, mud. Two o'clock. SA two. We have a bandit. Two ships. Bra. Right five degrees. Forty miles. Four thousand. We have a contact. Right five degrees. Forty miles. Four thousand. Lock. Locking bandit, right, 535 miles. Lost the targets. All right, returning to standard scan. Getting no IFF response. Target is a bandit. Scan. Back to regular scan. Fire arrow. Woke up. Scan. Okay, going back to uh, regular scan pattern. Okay, going back to uh, regular scan pattern. Grab that. All right. Lock. Locking bandit, left 15 degrees, 18 miles. Good lock. Looks like a good lock. It's moving right. Running into a mark. Watch one. Watch one again. I was splashed. I lost lot. Scan. I'll continue with the standard scan pattern. Scan. All right, scanning the sky again. Twenty five arrow. Roger. Kong 7 Kong 4 Overlord 1 1 Uzi 1 Request bogey dope We can't because we have a 6 We've got our 12 o'clock high. Lock. Copy. Lock. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Shoot him. Shoot. Box one. Looks like it's tracking. And splash. Bandit is down. Scan. Scan. Back to standard scan. Chef single. Flare single. Flare program.
All right, we can see if this works. We put a flare program. Flare single. Grab one. Right, seven o'clock. Okay, two. Drop just one. Flare program. Broke out. Dropping multiples. Thanks everyone for watching. I want to announce two videos that I'm working on. One is how to hack the F-14 Phantom and do more things that you couldn't do without a real, uh, real pilot. And the second one is about this thing that you probably might recognize. This is a slug mouse and I've been testing in this last month the point control way of interacting DCS in VR. I have a lot of things to say about the hardware, the software and the interaction in general. Stay tuned.